There aren't many other cars on the road today, are there? Oh, there, Horatio. Horatio. What are you doing? It's a cassette tape of Nuclear Voodoo by Billy Bogbear and the Sooty Lambs. I'm sticking it into the car. Just gotta find out how to get it in. Yeah, there's no tape player in this car. It's okay, Felix. The audio cassette is a dead format. And tonight is the night when dead things can return to life. Right. It's Swena Hunagati, the festival of dead futures. With the correct libations, a blood-red ice halo will encircle the October full moon, and the dead may return to our earthly plane. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure I believe you there, Horatio. I don't suppose there's any folklore to back that up, is there? No written folklore. That doesn't mean it isn't the one night when dead things can return to life. What about Halloween? Okay, one of only two nights this week. I don't think it's the full moon tonight either. We'll see about that. Once we find a service station, we'll pick up a bottle of scrumpy. In this corner of the world, they practice wassailing. So the libation needs to be apple-based. What are you on about? We've entered a metaphysical psychogeographical liminal space which is specific to certain ley lines along the southwest of England. Oh yeah, looks a lot like the A30 to me. Horatio, you, you're just jamming it in the glove compartment. You Aha! Apple juice. How long's this been open then? Oops. Oh bloody hell, what have you done? Why didn't you tell me you had apple juice in there? Well, this is side B, it's just the instrumental version. How do I change the tape over? I think I just spill some more on the other side. Don't do anything. Don't touch anything. I'm trying to drive on the motorway here. It's not a motorway, it's an A-road. What's got you so wound up? I don't like this place. It feels weird. Like something's wrong with the world. Wrong how? Like the sun's inside out. See? These huge trees are far too big. And then there's that on the flyover. Looks like a bunch of sheep with antlers. I just don't think that's right. You've been in London too long, Felix. This is just the countryside. This is what it's like outside the M25. Oh, hang on. What? spilled the apple juice onto something other than the tape. Yeah, there's some kind of cursed book. Cursed? Mm, the ink's running. What have you done? Some cursed writing spilled onto an OS map of Dartmoor. I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, God. What's that? Did you tape over my music? I told you we don't have a bloody tape player. Wow, look at that. The car's really shaking and rattling. The landscape's changing very fast. What have you done, Horatio? No idea. But I think if you swallow the rest of the apple juice, then take some charcoal pills, we'll be right as rain. Okay. No! Not okay! This is just bloody typical. You set off some curse, and then I'm supposed to fix it somehow. Well, one of us has got to. Yeah, you! Oh, God. Look, there's something horrible on the windscreen. Oh, it looks like a circle of dead rabbits. They seem more like hares to me. Oh, bloody hell. It says, the world in its own blood. Yeah, I can see that. Well, put the wipers on if it's bothering you so much. <sighs> there you go, it's gone back here. False alarm. Look out there. The sky's changed to red. The trees have heads and they've got eyes popping out of their heads and they're laughing at us. Yeah, Felix, it's cold weather. It's not weather. The whole world's gone to shit. Well, no bloody wonder. Look, you've got a plastic straw in this apple juice. It's a hemp straw. It's a luxury brand, okay? You know, they call us vampires. But the fossil fuel corporations are the real... Horatio! Who has a carton of apple juice in their glove compartment anyway? What are you, a ten-year-old? It's not apple juice, it's alcohol-free cider. That's just marketing, it's apple juice. Drink the rest of that carton and sort this shit out already. No, 
We're both going to drink it. It's half your fault for leaving it in there on Swena Hunagati. And how many times have I dragged your wretched carcass across the North Sea? Not that many, actually. But I recall you were sick as a pig the whole way on the post-impressionism cruise. Frightened the life out of that art museum curator. She nearly spilled her glass of Merlo onto a basking shark, if I remember correctly. And who had to look after you the whole time? Change lanes here. There are no lanes anymore! Who would have expected a basking shark in the channel? Most interesting thing about that whole trip, if you ask me. Now, I've poured some of the cursed ink into the carton. It's, it's something on the back seat. It just appeared. Take a sip of that. There's a piece of paper on the back seat. Keep your eyes on the road. It's a poem. The paper's made of tree. It's angry with us. I think the curse is in the car ratio. No, it's just inside you. Now, you need to relax. We'll never find any petrol in Devon. Look, there's nothing out there. It's all rocks. We're the last humans left. You're not a human anymore, Felix. Just keep your mind on the wedding. Once we get there, everything will be okay. I'll just use this straw to suck the rest off the map. Just relax. Fuck. I'm dead. I'm a dead man. We'll never find any petrol in Devon. It's the land of the dead. You're gonna do fine. I've got faith in you. Just keep driving, alright? I'm not driving you up. Now you're gonna have to take a left here. There's a small service station at Widden Down. See? There is petrol in Devon. I was right. All right, good. Teamwork. Now, you fill up the tank. I'm going inside to take control of the situation. Well, have you got anything against... Excuse me. Apple juice. Yeah, this What's one... What's that? Can't quite hear well, you. That's quite funny. <laughs> okay. I'm very cursed, you see, so... Uh... I need to pay for the sins of the fossil fuel corporations who are the real vampires. And which pump are you going to do that at, my love? Oh, uh, pump number two, please. Charcoal pills, that's it. I need charcoal pills. This is a service station. They're not there they are. Oh, right. We stopped. Just getting my bearings. How? I'm having a look at the stars. You never told me you know how to navigate by the stars. Oh, I don't. That's why I'm having a look. Oh, I can't believe this. Can't believe you're dragging me around Dartmoor. I'm not dragging you. Spilling apple juice in my glove compartment and cursing my A to Z map. OS map. And forcing me to endure your rubbish 80s music. Oi, nuclear voodoo is not rubbish music, Felix. It's about the Cold War. The lyrics have a lot of thematic depth. That was the B-side, it's just the instrumental version! Why don't you have another charcoal pill and chill out? I'm done with the charcoal. I just want a nice cold gin and tonic. You'll get your gin. By the way, I have it on good authority that Dylan Thomas is going to be the best man. 
He's dead. Not that one, the other one. The poet. But he's dead. The other one, the Welsh one. Ugh. Look, there's a sign. Hmm. Oh. Look out for any footprints that seem as if they might belong to Dylan Thomas. I believe he wrote that song about being under the Milky Way. Are you sure this is right? There's a lot of these woody bits in England. Not on Dartmoor. This is Wistman's Wood. It's ancient and considered very charming. Holy shit, it looks like a church full of dead people! With their eyes staring at you from the walls! Pipe down and eat your charcoal pills. We'll see the church at the other end. A church full of dead people? There are no dead people in this wood. Come on. Hang on, I found something. Is it one of Dylan Thomas's footprints? It's an ancient burial ground. This type of burial site's called a kist. Dartmoor's full of them. The dead old tree must have been growing on top, then ripped the capstone off when it fell. Well, this could be a really significant find. There might be some datable remains in there. Oh God, I was right. There's a dead girl. That's not a dead girl, it's a dead old branch. It broke off when the tree fell. Whoa. Oh no, wait, it is a dead girl. Wow, she must have been there for thousands of years. Hang on, did you spill apple juice on her? Or maybe just a bit. Stop drinking it! I was thirsty! Oh, uh, hello. Do you want to come to a wedding? Oh, you've perked up, haven't you? Inviting random corpses to the big event. Dateable remains, eh? We get to sit at a table with flowers, and there's Prosecco on tap at the reception, and free fruit skewers for everyone. She doesn't know what fruit skewers are, Felix. She's an ancient bog monster. No offence, love. Bog noble woman! You don't bury a monster in a fancy kiss like that. Look at her headgear. She could even be a, a high priestess. Yeah, well, she's just a bog priestess now. Don't pay any attention to him, Kisty. Kisty? So apparently, there's going to be a karaoke machine and a bouncy castle that adults can go on. Might be a really fun time. Do you want to come? There you go, she's nodding. Uh, it could just be the wind. Anyway, we can't take her like that. You'll have to... Pop into a charity shop and get her a frock or something. Oh, I see what this is. Just because you don't have a date. I do, actually. You'll meet her when we get there. She's called Susie, and she runs a plant nursery, but she wants to make films. I mean, you can't expect a girl to go through life without having more than one dream, can you? That's called cheese. That's a cracker. That's some quince. And those are grapes cut in half. Honestly, your ratio? I don't know what to say. I mean, who stands someone up at a bloody wedding? I'll tell you who. Someone who- Oh, please. Your pity's only making me feel worse. I, uh, I looked on the karaoke machine. They've got nuclear voodoo on it. Do you want to come and sing? Can't think of anything I'd like to do less right now. <sighs> I'm sorry I brought you here. The planet's dying. We need to get rid of our car. Maybe let's wait till we get back home first, yeah? I'm part of the problem, Felix. Consuming all the resources. It's all right, the fruit skewers are free. But what can I do? I'm just a prawn in history. Yeah, I think you mean a pawn. Like in chess. No, I'm a prawn. Prawns can be even smaller than a chess piece. Well, maybe not travel chess. Or, or like computer chess. But I mean, how would you quantify it? Yeah, you see, when some people say Happy Swainer Hunagati, 
It's more of a question than a statement. Like, happy Swain Hunagati? And Horatio prefers to answer the question himself. And the answer he prefers to choose is no. No, no, no. You know what? This kind of helplessness is just what the bloody corporations want. Well, I'm not gonna give it to them. The window's closing, but there's still time. I'm gonna be a larger than average longest scene in history, Felix. For all your generation. Oh, that's, uh, that's great, Horatio. Thank you. You, you're going over there to get a drink? Are you asking if I'd like a drink? Oh, thank you, Kisty. You're a real sweetheart. I think I'm done with the free Prosecco for now, though. Look, why don't you and Kisty go and enjoy yourselves? I'll be fine right here. You sure? Yeah, go on. All right, then. Thanks for the charcoal pills. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Fair enough. Let's have a look. My bit near. Oh no. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> 